watching Tone Jigga TV. My friends, what you were just hearing right there was, uh, that was the 67 Loman B5 profile. And uh, that's 100% free, 100% free, just like this other thing I wanna show you. So let me show you my screen right now. Boom, that's my screen right there. And uh, you can see I'm in uh, I'm in Brig Manager here. And uh, what's this? I got my graphic equalizer off. Well, that's what I want to show you. Today's video is about how to cut through the mix. And I wanted to show you some of these parameters so you can see them really easily and where I'm getting them. Because you'll see over here under all presets, local library, I'm going to share these TJ Tone Tools. These are my new tools for tone. This is what you're going to need to uh, just get better tone. I figured, you know what, HW, you got to stop talking about it. You got to make some just awesome presets. So I'm gonna share all these with you. Um, there's just three right now. I'm building new ones every day. This is gonna be like 30 or 50 things really, really soon. And uh, check out TJ Tone Tools. This is called Hot Knife. Okay, so I'm gonna take this basement profile that I've got down here that I selected uh, up here. You can see it. Here's my Loman B5, right? So I'm gonna go into all presets and the, the manager, rig manager is this easy to use. Give me my Hot Knife. Now you know why it's called Hot Knife? because it's gonna make your tone like a hot knife through butter, and the butter is the mix. Let me show you this. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna bring it down here. Now you're gonna notice two things. HW, why does it say hot knife post? Because this is an EQ meant to put post amplifier. Uh, fatness and no mud, I'm gonna go into in some future videos, uh, probably tomorrow's video, but um, those are made for the preamp. You might find them useful in the post, uh, you know, in the post position, you know, after. But uh, pre pre amp stack is really what we're getting at. Post amp stack is what we're getting at. So hot knife, we're gonna we're gonna send our signal like a hot knife through butter. There you go. It's right there. So first with it off. You heard my guitar. It sounds like this. <laughs> We're gonna add it in and it sounds like this and let's talk about what it's doing. Man, you guys, that's, that's a real, that, is that a good strat tone or what? Okay, now the Hot Knife is a studio equalizer, and that's a little bit different than what we've been dealing with with mostly graphic equalizers until now on the channel. And so the studio equalizer is gonna be more for like fine tuning, fine sculpting. Think of the graphic equalizer uh, like a knife and the studio equalizer as a scalpel. Uh, you're really gonna be able to dial in things. Um, you have less overall control, meaning you're not gonna be able to do as much um, with with sort of one studio equalizer in terms of affecting high and low frequencies. In my opinion, you can't really, it's not laid out the same way, but you get a lot more options in what you are gonna do. So um, first of all, low cut, we're basically trying to cut anything below 50, 60 right here. And our high cut, um, we're trying to cut anything above like 12,000. Now some people might go, HW, come on, uh, don't you want some more information up there? The cut is not a hard cut, so there's still gonna be some information, but I wanna lob off some of that stuff. Um, 
let's get into here, low gain, low frequency. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm pushing some, some signal, 1.3 decibels, I'm increasing that at 200 hertz. Now this studio equalizer starts off its life really as the cut the mix EQ, but I'm actually just making it a little stronger, a little more cutting to me. And so, uh, and it's gonna work, to me I think this works really well with bright guitars. Um, like a Strat, like a P90, brighter humbuckers. If you have something already really mid-rangey, we can get into that in a future video. But low gain, up a decibel, 1.3, and we're, we're pushing that up at 200. 200 is really useful bass frequencies. 150, 200, 220, really useful bass when you're talking about being in a mix because you don't want to get so low that you're on the bass, right? The bass player, that is. Now, we have two uh, mid one and mid two. Here's what we're doing. We're boosting about three decibels on both, and the frequency we're boosting at is about 1,000 hertz and about 1,500 hertz. And the Q, the Q here is how wide those pushes are. So what I've done is I've increased the Q. 0.7 is a very standard Q that you're going to find on a lot of studio equalizers. Um, it's the default on the Kemper here. It's But check this out. 0.14. I've actually doubled the Q on the 1500 space because that's where I want to be jumpy outy and that's where I really want to get a little more going. Um, and that's what's giving you that, that extra mid frequencies coming out. Okay, now for high gain, we're going to go 2.2 up. We're increasing 2.2 decibels around 55 100, 5600. Now, what is that when we think about the tone junkie sort of eight bands of EQ that you should think about in your head? Well, about 2500, somewhere in the high twos, is where I would say treble falls. That's where I feel like treble is. 5,000, 5,500 starts to be this high treble presence type of category. And so what we're doing is we're bringing out a more present nature because we want to hear the delicacy, the delicacy that is this high end in this strat. And then uh, we talked about our high cuts, mix. I'm uh, not really doing anything with the volume. This is going to give us a volume boost. Why? Well, we're increasing decibels at different frequencies, but we're not cutting anything. So if you need to make this a little more uniform, you can use it like a solo boost. You can use it when you want to cut through and those decibels help. But if you want to bring it down, you're welcome to bring down this volume uh, to a more usable level. And that is in fact what I did in this uh, example that you're going to see right now, which is me playing sort of a clean version um, of this profile or the profile as it comes out of the box uh, with no... Uh, eat no uh, extra overdrive on it. So check it out. In the mix, here's how this hot knife really helps your guitar cut through. Listen before and after I turn on the hot knife EQ. <laughs> sound better EQ because in a lot of ways it just sounds better. With it on and off outside of a mix, it, it, it does this sort of thing. I'm on the neck pickup right now of this Strat and listen to this. thick strat neck sound but this EQ isn't just pushing mids it's actually giving us more clarity more mid-range and a more usable bass area while cutting maybe some of the problems in the low end or the really high end so let me turn on that studio equalizer which is our hot, hot knife EQ and now it sounds like this <laughs> I mean, that 
that just sounds better. You could of course put that in the middle position like I was in that demo and uh, or actually we'll go to the two position and you get something even more sort of now I'm going to turn that back off and you're going to hear the difference. It's just a little less hot. It just sounds a little more mix ready with it on. And that's a term I hear thrown around a lot, mix ready, what is it? To me it's more mid-range, but it's more mid-range with you know, either less bass or the right kind of bass, and the high end still needs to be there. There needs to be maybe more presence, maybe less treble. The treble can get messy, but you still need presence to make your notes defined and not overly muffled. So this is the Hot Knife EQ. Uh, one more thing, check this example out. Here it is with the Soft Shaper EQ. So when you turn that on, um, now that's on. It's just adding a little bit of drive in front. And uh, here is with and without the studio, the uh, Hot Knife Studio Equalizer. through butter, I strongly, strongly recommend you try out this EQ, put it after the amp section, and it's a free download. You can get it at the link below, link above, uh, whatever. It's somewhere around my head right now, right? And you can download it. I'm actually going to put everything in here. TJ Tone Tools is now in the free pack of the Tone Junkie uh, free sampler pack. Uh, it's, in the, it's in the Tone Junkie free pack. And also it's going to be a free download that you can find on the tips and tricks page. That's just going to be the hot knife. But if you want any of these Tone Tools, right now I've just got three right here. I'm going to throw them at you. The other one's coming up in future videos. I'm, gonna, I'm about to add a whole bunch of delays and, and uh, verbs and a whole bunch of uh, overdrives. This is must have stuff. For your uh, for your Kemper and for rig manager, so uh, you'd be a real dummy not to go get these right now for free. Go get it, Hot Knife EQ HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. If you get anything out of these videos, like, subscribe. HW.